Morning, Omar. <laughs> it's earlier than normal. We got a lot of stuff to do. Oh. Hey, uh, good morning. It's super early. There's no mic on the camera because I literally cannot find it. Um, it's snowing. It's not snowing crazy, but it's definitely snowing. Yeah, it's snowing. <laughs> um, so let's see. It's super early, but Ern is on the way over. Look how clean my house is, by the way. Super clean. Uh, shout out to Brandy. Paid Brandy to clean my house for me while I edited the vlog last night. So everything is clean. We're good to go. Well, there's still some stuff that's out of order. But anyway, um, closet's still wrecked for sure. Anyway, Ern will be here in a few minutes, literally minutes. We gotta shoot these on feet real quick. And then uh, a few things to unbox today. And then I'm headed to the airport to pick somebody up. And then um, just kind of hanging out and getting stuff done, getting ready to go to the mountains. My mom gets here tomorrow. And then, yeah, mountains time, mountain time, snowboarding, Christmas, blah, blah, blah. I don't know when the next vlog after this will be. Probably, probably Christmas. We'll see though. All right, Ern will be here in a second. He won't be drunk. Fair look, I'm almost trying to eat it. Yeah. yeah, I just finished cleaning the apartment this morning. <laughs> <laughs> when I took the turn onto your road, uh -huh. I almost went into that thing in the middle there. <laughs> nice. And I have all wheel drive. Yeah, remember how I was like when we rent a truck yeah. to go to the mountains and you're like, don't worry about it, I have all wheel drive. Yeah. And we're on flat land right now and you just fucking slid into something. It's yeah. Not good. It's I'll supposed be, to be like straight. I'll be snow charging the, the GoPro. Time. So if they ask about a Yukon, then I'll take the Yukon. Yeah, yeah. Right. What's up, no burritos? No, they're not open. What? Fucking seven thirty. Are you lying? Did you look? Yeah. I have a feeling you didn't look and you're just telling me they're not open. Yeah, tell you right a burri a bre the best breakfast burrito no, the in best the chili. world? I don't know if they have the best be breakfast. I thought it was the best breakfast burrito. I don't know they are open. Yeah, what time do they open? Seven. I just thought this, they were open. Yeah, I told you you were fucking lying. You fucking asshole. Because I ended up not taking Broadway because uh, it takes long. Uh, yeah, this is the real like, story. The real story comes out. Got to the end of my road. I was like, I can take a ride and go to Broadway and get these. I'm like, there's no I can't way buy these a are burrito. fucking open. And then I just Why would a breakfast burrito place not be open at 7 a.m.? I didn't know they were breakfast burritos. I thought they were famous for their chili. And they just had burritos. Oh, my God. Well, we can go back out to it. Um, <laughs> Is that what I want to do this morning? Maybe not. Ugh, <laughs> jeez. Oh, Get it, it's another animal. It's an animal, get it. No. Get it. No. <laughs> Omar, no. anyone comes here in a fur coat, you can attack them. I got him. Bite him. I got him. <laughs> hey, <laughs> enough. We Welcome more, to today's vlog. We need more snow on your hair. Oh wait, let me check my mom's Yeezys real quick. They're supposed to be here before noon. I'll be amazed if this gets here today. <laughs> really? It doesn't say anything. If your mystery bag hasn't made it yet, it is shipped. USPS is just tripping right now. <coughs> it, it's the holidays. It's the holidays. They're tripping so bad that fucking FedEx is using UPS to ship shit. I'm not a fan of this box. Yeah, this is not <laughs> make any sense. I'm so confused. This is from Social Status in Charlotte. Why the fuck did it come from social status and shit? Maybe that's who's holding them or something. They weird. didn't shit forever. Go, yo, 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 yo. Nope. House just got cleaned. Nope. Sorry, Buster. Sorry. Nice. It's a fucking pop. Light. Yeah, straight up, I'm gonna say it right now. You slept on this pair of shoes. I did. I gotta get them. You were fucking sleeping on yourself. You deserve every L you take for the rest of your life. This is one of the best Ultra Boosts to ever fucking release. Ever. Y'all motherfuckers go crazy about 1.0, go crazy about wool. This shit's fired. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I know what's wrong with you people. But I'm not gonna talk about it. More for me at retail. I doubled up on these. For sure. Fucking crazy. Why would you wear any other triple white Ultra Boost? You could throw away the rest of them. Motherfucker saddened me. <laughs> hey. They got here. I didn't have to pay fifteen hundred fucking dollars for you. Let me give it a shot. This is the oh, so I guess my um damn. The Luxes are here? I wonder if the Luxes didn't ship. <laughs> That'd be funny if I took an L on the Lux because I thought <coughs> 
Oh, he's Another still one. Too. I know, people are crazy. They're so fucking nice. It's like such a nice shoe. So dope. And the white pair of these. Which we, you know, when I reviewed these last time, we are talking about how the, these new pairs are different than the other pair. How they don't have like that inner thing in there. Yeah. That's because they discontinued. They discontinued the Pure Control. Oh. This is just the A16 Plus Ultra Boost. It's no longer called the Pure Control. So that's the difference is that they removed all the innards, I, I, I guess. This also feels different to me though. I might be tripping. <sighs> now look at the difference, crazy, right? The knitting, it's like not quite 1.0 toe box. Let me track this Lux Ultra Boost because now I'm worried. I told homie yesterday too, he's like, you need the Lux? I was like, no, it's on the way. <laughs> I just took an L on it, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Oh my God, they tried, <laughs> holy shit. They've tried to deliver it for like days. What happened? How do they no know idea. Deliver? You live in this apartment. Great. Nice, Christmas came early. They're coming, Yeezys are coming. This is the third biggest Four, unboxing ever. In five, the double up of the Mamaniers and Yeezys for me and my mama. And I got those NMDs with the tiger on the back. Oh yeah? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Stacks, boy. Call me Teddy Two Stacks. And you got a hey. blazing hottie coat. Hey, <laughs> call me Teddy Two Stacks. <laughs> Omar, good boy. He's so funny, I want you to grab it, but he doesn't. Oh. It is still snowing. Pretty good. Sam's flight has been delayed, so. One hour and 12 minutes late. So yeah, uh, airlines delayed. I guess there's delays all over, of course. Hopefully they are all over with. My mom flies in tomorrow. Hopefully she gets no delays. My other shoes haven't come in yet, so we're gonna have to take a look at, well, we won't be taking a look at them today, but if they come in soon, I'll unbox them for you. This is the box. It was not crushed until I flew home with it. Uh, this is not my pair, or I mean, it is my pair. This isn't the pair that I initially confirmed ordered. That pair still has not shipped and still has not gotten a cancel email. Um, so when I was at SneakerCon, my homie Scott from The Vault, where we did the pop-up in Boston, oh, right outside of Boston, but uh, yeah, Scott hooked it up for me. We ended up trading. I traded him a pair of Deadstock Yebras and $100, and this is how I got the pair. So that's where the whole $100 thing came from, but... Shout out to my man at the vault. Shout out to the vault. Dudes are like family at this point. They hooked me up when uh, nobody in Boston was really trying to fuck with me. So, so yeah, I fuck with the vault. I wore them a lot. I wanted to wear them a lot. I wanted to just keep wearing them off and on and really, really test them out. And that's what I did. I woke, I woke, I walked around. I walked around New York City for, I don't know, definitely a whole day in them. Sneaker con for a whole day in them. And then I switched shoes in and out as the day went on to kind of just feel the difference. So I think I have a pretty good idea of how the 700 fits, feels. I can at least tell you what I think. This is what the shoe looks like, as you've probably seen on the interwebs before. All right, so the shoe itself, let's go through the colors. Basically, there is no color for the upper. I would say it's a gray base. Uh, all the other colors seem like accents. Gray base, black accents. There's a little hunter green paneling, aqua blue paneling, and then uh, nice suede panels pretty much everywhere. The entire shoe is basically suede and mesh. Uh, and the stuff that looks like mesh is very clearly mesh. You know, my mesh heel, there's a mesh window where the three stripes live underneath in 3M. I don't know how well you can really see that right now. Uh, the entire inside of the shoe is mesh. There's really nothing else going on inside. There's no PK. It's just straight up mesh. Mesh. Yeah, it's mesh. <clears throat> uh, but all these other panels are all suede. Toe box is suede. All that black is suede. 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 Suede, suede, suede. Uh, Rose and yellow laces, I really like the lace color. The lace color on the shoe kind of ties the whole room together. I do like it. I like the, um, 
the little like foreshadowing into the frozen yellow color. So I do like that. The color contrast of this colorway I really like. I like the orange, the gray, the blue, the greens, like yellow, like I like all that. I think contrast, look wise, everything is attractive. I, uh, there's 3M paneling throughout. You have 3M here, 3M three stripes. There's 3M, 3M tab that holds the laces. Just a couple little hits here and there. Just when the light hits it, makes it obviously pop. So a few things that are different. Um, first, this I believe would be the first Yeezy that you have the performance logo and not the originals trefoil. Uh, same thing with the sole, there is the, there's the performance logo, and then there you see Boost. We didn't know if the shoe had Boost or what when we first got leaked photos, but yes, there's Boost, and it does seem like it's full length, although I cannot confirm it because I don't have a window here. So I don't know if it actually goes all the way to the tip. Um, I just kind of assume it does, but it, it's possible that it does not. Let's just get into, this is the insole. So about how comfortable this shoe is, and this is like the real question, I guess. Oh, there's like a boost window there too, that's funny. It's different, right? Okay, it's it's definitely not ultra boost. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that right now. It's not as comfortable as an ultra boost or really any boost model shoe that you've ever had. The way the boost is implemented in this shoe is completely different. It's almost feels like an afterthought. It almost feels like the shoe is not designed around boost, so to speak, so it doesn't really benefit from any kind of spring back or, you know, that bounce that you feel when you're on an ultra boost, you can kind of like bounce on your feet. You're not gonna get that with this. Essentially a boost slab on the inside that is covered with an enormous sole. So even the space between the boost and the sole is pretty thick. So when you're standing down on it, it does give you a little cushion, but you're not getting that response. You're not getting any kind of bounce back. And that's really like, I think what a lot of people like about Ultra Boost. Uh, there's no hug on your foot. This is definitely not well, it hugs a little bit different, but let me, there's no hug like PK. You're not gonna get a PK type fit from this whatsoever if you're expecting it. If you're expecting it to feel like an EQT, an Ultra Booster, an AMD, don't even waste your time because it's not going to. That it's the most comfortable shoe to wear around all day. By the end of the day, I definitely felt the difference between this and Ultra Boost. But if this shoe did not have Boost in it, it would be uncomfortable. The Boost does help when you're standing there. You can feel it. You do feel the cushiness of it, but you're definitely not getting that response. Like it just, the way that it sits into, the way that it sits into the shoe is just completely different. And like I said, there's just this huge, massive amount of sole around it. So it's like this sort of middle piece instead of just being the sole itself. Um, and then inside the shoe, when you take the insole out, there's this kind of like webbing that goes over. There's a little boost window right there, but there's webbing that goes over it. That's a little strange, but it's like super stiff. Like this is very stiff. It's a very stiff, I mean, we're not getting that same, you're not getting that movement out of it. So, so far as how it fits, this is the big question that everybody has. I went with my true size 13 and I do wear it with the insole in. I haven't tried it without the insole actually. Hold on, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's the same really, because that's the way the shoe works. Um, so the big thing people with sizing, some people were saying they went, they went up a half size. Uh, because of the toe area. The toe area is a little tight. The top, the upper, sort of feels like a V2. I mean, it really does. Like, it's very narrow in the toe. It's slanted the same way. Uh, you feel it kind of grip around your toes. And this is just a little bit more dramatic, I think. I think that it's purposeful. I still think you should go your true size. I think, I know it's not support, but I think the stability that holds your foot in place in this model is in the toe area. It's essentially like your foot slides in, your toes are sort of grabbed on, and that holds your foot in place. Because the back end of this shoe is pretty loose. Like you definitely will have a little bit of heel slip if you sized up. Even with these unlaced like this, my heel slips a little bit. So it's it's definitely narrow in the toe, but it's not, a, the, sh the shoe itself isn't smaller, if that makes sense. I think it's very deliberate. And I think if you half size up, it's just gonna be flopping around on your foot. I really, personally do not think sizing up is a good idea, but if you have a flat foot, you know your foot, so you know, but definitely expect that toe area to be a little tight, a little snug, but not to the point of uncomfortable. When you start walking around, it's just, it's just a different fit. I mean, it just feels different. All the material, I'm not like a leather junkie, but all the materials seem really, really nice. The price point on this is 350. So I mean, all the suede is nice. The leather seems nice. Uh, 3M hits. I looked at this shoe a lot and when I looked at these and tried to figure out why or how, where the motivation came from for these, it reminds me of air bubbles. Whenever I see these little cuts and stuff, it just kind of reminds me of a faux air bubble. But it's interesting, the coloring is interesting. 
the, the black leaking from the suede down into the sole is a cool touch. A lot of people don't like this shoe. And when it first came out, I was one of those people that was like, I don't know, man, I don't, I don't have any boost in it. I'm not really sure. And um, even though it does have boost in it, it still doesn't compare to other. And at $350 price point, I don't know how worth it it is. If, you know, if, I mean, this isn't a shoe I'll wear all the time. If I'm wearing it for like an hour or two, then I'm down, it's great, but I won't be able to wear this like all day. Definitely not walking around all day. It's still ultra boost for life. But I'll say it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Before I didn't know it had boost, I, it was a completely pass. Um, I kinda like it. I mean, I like the shoe. I like the way the shoe looks on feet. Some people say it's too bulky. They don't like the whole dad shoe thing. I don't really constitute this as a dad shoe in any way. If anything, this is closer to a fucking skate shoe from late 90s, early 2000s. You can really just go back and look. If you look at Circa, Osiris, there's so many companies, but I can't even think ES, S, however you call it, America. There's so many big bulky skate shoes that were made pretty similar to this. I mean, this, this sole is definitely not like a skate sole, but Definitely some influence. And then of course there is some influence from the high fashion Balenciaga style dad shoe runner, but um, I just don't see that. When I look at a dad shoe, I think of a Monarch or something like that, and it's just like a plain white colorway. It's tied super tight and looks like there's no life left in it. 700s, I like them. I don't think they're a must cop. I think it's gonna come down to the colorway and how addicted you are to boost. If you're the type of dude that wears different models anyway, like you're wearing Jordans and you know, whatever vans, then you're, this won't bother you. You're used to discomfort, sorry. Um, but for me, it's just not all day wear. Like that's just like what it is. You know, this is bulky and it's not shaved down. You know, there's really no angles. You have an ultra boost, it's like super, everything's form fitted and cut and chiseled like a nice sculpture. This is just a big block of concrete basically. But it's a big block of concrete that I still think it looks good on your feet. Mildly comfortable, just not as comfortable as the other stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know with 700s. I don't know if I'll continue to get them. I like the black colorway that's coming, but it just really depends. I don't really know the future. I would say that I wish the shoe had more boost. I wish that boost was more of the focus, I guess, of the shoe. You know, the technology is in it, but it just doesn't seem, it's like some other models that have gotten before, and it just, um, just doesn't seem as responsive. So that's my real thing, but still true to size for me. Again, your toes are gonna feel crunched, but it's not crunched to the point where it hurts. Like, I and then this shoe's different to me too because it's been so long. Because it's like all these PK shoes and like all the Adidas that we get. I know they scratch up and stuff, but you know, like the heel cups will scratch. But this is crazy because like the paint you'll start to see, and this is like what a lot of Jordan heads will complain about. I feel like paint just scratches off. And scuffs off like pretty quickly. I mean, I would did walk around the city and this stuff doesn't really bother me because they're shoes, but I know some people don't like when there's any kind of flaw whatsoever with anything, no real creasing or anything like that. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's the review. That's the 700s. I really don't think there's anything else to say about them. Um, this is the most limited Yeezy to date. It does say Yeezy on it, on the inside actually. So it is technically easy and comes in an easy box. I still haven't really had the conversation about um, the Calabasas dad shoe, whatever the, yeah, the Calabasas. Cause it doesn't come in an easy box and it's just, um, it's in an Adidas and originals box. So that's kind of confusing and I don't really know like where you draw the line on what's easy and what's not, but whatever, either way, I don't really care either. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get out of here. Um, if the boxes show up before I leave, I'll be back after the credits. If they don't, I'll see you later. I don't know when. Um, hopefully I'll get a vlog uploaded either on Christmas, before Christmas, maybe after, I don't know. Really, yeah, sometime, we'll get something done. But uh, I gotta go to the airport for the next two days, pick people up, get shit situated, get ready for life. Mystery bags have all shipped. I'm sorry if USPS has not updated yours. Most of them are either gonna get delivered before Christmas. If yours comes after Christmas, I apologize. I'm sorry. We really try to get everything out as fast as possible. It's just like literally USPS is just slammed. They're super slammed. They hate us right now. Um, what else? What else? Oh, and then there's a restock. If you've been asking about the AI skull, skull robot, that will restock on the 28th. Also a new color. Well, kind of two new. Is a restock. Two new colors, sort of limited. Da 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 da. 28. We'll see ya. Peace.